Hey, boys and girls, another week, more learning. It's been great. Last week, we learned about the seven continents. You did your map, you labeled them. Um, hopefully, they turned out well, because like I said, if they're not well, guess what? Mr. Vaughn sends them back. This week, it's geography number eight, so make sure you pull out your geography number eight page. Now, notice today, we're dealing with the four oceans, so we also have a map on the back again. Yes, we're gonna do another map. In geography, we're gonna be doing lots of maps. We're, each, we're actually gonna do one map for every single continent, and we're gonna label mountains and rivers and some lakes, some very fun stuff. So you're gonna learn all about this wonderful world that God has established. Now, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna look up Psalms 146, verse six. I want you to write it on the line where it goes, up here, and then you're gonna explain it how? In your own words. Tell me what the verse means, okay? So I'm not going to discuss the verse, but I want you to tell me what it means. What is God showing you about water through, or about God or whatever, through this verse that talks about water in the Bible, okay? What does this teach you about God? What idea, what principle, what, um, what do you learn from it? I want you to write that down. So read the verse two or three times. Think about it. Pray about it. Say, God, what are you wanting to teach me through this verse? Because you know, as you go older and you read the Bible, you get into those points where you start reading and you stop and you say, you know what? I've read this a couple times. God, what are you trying to teach me? Teach me something new from this verse. And you know what? Even if a verse you've read a hundred times, God can still reveal something new to you. So I want you to read these verses, think about them very, very carefully, and then write down what you think. Now, we're going to deal with the oceans now. Um, we did do, last week, we went largest to smallest for the um, continents. This week, we're going to do it, oh my goodness, I did not change this to say ocean. Mr. Vaughn, what's the matter with you? So, what I want you to do, boys and girls, cross continent out and write ocean. I don't know why I didn't see that. Sorry about that. So just cross that out and write, write ocean instead of continent. So what is the biggest ocean? What do you think the biggest ocean is? The Pacific, that's right. The Pacific Ocean. All right, so your first one is going to be Pacific Ocean. And how many square miles does that one cover? 63 million eight hundred thousand. Now, I want you to remember um, the continent of Asia, that the continent of Asia covered 30 percent, okay? The continent of Asia covered 30 percent of all the land. It was 30 percent of the land, and it was only 17 million. Look at this ocean, 63 million miles or square miles. That ocean is huge. It's humongous. Let me get our globe and I'll show you. You can't really tell too well on the world map when we go to it, but basically our, our globe is upside down. There we go. But basically, look at this, boys and girls. I'm going to tilt this thing down a little bit so you can see. This right here is the Pacific Ocean. It goes from this side, which is uh, this side of Asia, all the way to the coast of California. So all of this, all of this in here is all the Pacific Ocean. It is humongous. It's 63 million square miles. Tilt back up so we can see. It's big. I mean, it's a lot bigger than Asia. All right. What's the next one? It's called the Atlantic Ocean. How big is the Atlantic Ocean? It's 31 million 660 square miles. I mean, this right here is almost double the size of Asia. Okay? If it was 34 million, it'd be double the size of Asia. It's almost the double the size. All right, next we have the Indian Ocean. And the Indian Ocean is 28 million, 300,000. So look, even the Indian Ocean is still bigger, is still bigger than 
the biggest continent, right? It's a third smallest, and it's still bigger than the biggest continent. Our Earth is 70% water, remember? And land is only 30%. It's pretty amazing. And then, of course, you have the smallest one, which is the Arctic Ocean. And it is only 5,400,000 square miles. Okay? So it is, it is a very small, it's a very, I mean, it's still, that's a lot of land. But compared to the other oceans, it's a very small ocean, okay? So now this is not dealing with the seas or the or lakes or, you know, the gulfs and all that kind of stuff, all right? Um, the oceans are different. So we're dealing with the four main oceans, all right? Let's go over to our map. But before we do that, I want you to notice that on the back is another map. And at the bottom, you have your instructions. So you're going to label your map the four oceans. You're going to label all the oceans. So you're going to label the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, and the Arctic Ocean. And then you're going to use blue caterpillar hairs on all the water, just like you did last week. And you're going to do green caterpillar hairs on all the land, just like you did last week. This map and last week's map is going to be the same in color. The only difference is that... You're going to label the con you label the continents on the other one, and on this one you're labeling the four oceans. All right, and again, your name and date is already on the back. If you put your name and date where you're supposed to, let's go over and look at our oceans. I'll show you where they all are. Let's see, are we there? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? No. Okay, we are there. Let me get it up here. Let's tilt it out a little bit. Okay, so. Right here, we have the Atlantic Ocean, right here, North Atlantic, South Atlantic, but this is the Atlantic Ocean. Now, the Pacific Ocean is from here, and imagine if it was wrapped around in a circle. It goes from here all the way over to here, which means it includes all of this. Look at this, all this ocean, all this ocean here, all that is the Pacific Ocean. Now, it doesn't seem so humongous right now, unless you look at all of this, right? Because you don't see it, in, in the globe. Now I showed you the globe how big it looked. Now up here is where you have the Arctic Ocean. So see the Arctic Ocean is up here at the top. Your Indian Ocean is right here by India. So this right here is your Indian Ocean. This area right here, this is your Indian Ocean. So you have your Atlantic Ocean, you have the Indian Ocean which is between Africa and Australia. So that's how you can know where it is and also it's right where India is. See? So you have Africa and Asia right? Or Africa and, all, um, and Australia, right here in Asia, up here. So you have your Indian Ocean right there. Your Pacific Ocean is this side of Asia and this side of North America, because remember, it connects in the back, okay? Because see, this right here is, is this part right here. This part right here is this part right here, okay? They're just showing you kind of if you were to connect it, where it would be. So notice all these islands here, Fiji and all these islands, they are also in the Pacific Ocean. Then, of course, you have your Arctic Ocean up there. All right. Now notice that you have a bunch of seas. Like here you have the Arabian Sea, you have the Bay of Bengal, right? Here you have your Gulf of Mexico, which we discussed. Um, up here you have your Hudson Bay, which we discussed. Labrador Sea. Look, here's a strait, the D Davis Strait. Remember, a strait is water in between two large pieces of land. Okay, up here you have the Kara Sea, the Barents Sea, all right? So you have you have different oceans, Mediterranean Sea, but our four main bodies of water, the four main bodies of water in the world is your Atlantic Ocean, your Pacific Ocean, which is there and there, your Arctic Ocean, and your Indian Ocean. So make sure you get those labeled with proper spelling on your map. Color your map nicely. Now, you know that if your map is not done, done nicely or done well, I will have to send it back home, so you have to redo it. So I would hate to have to do that. But I don't think I'll have to because you are all diligent, hardworking students. You've got a whole week to do this, so take your time. You don't have to finish it all in one day. I'm going to put this video out on Monday so you have the whole week to work on it and you won't be stressed, okay? If you have any questions, give me a call. Talk to you later, boys and girls. Bye.